This weekend I took the second level long range shooting course from Radon Tactics. And while I'm still working on a video detailing the instruction we got that day, I wanted to put together a video showing what we did with that instruction. This course was not really a shooting course, it was a spotting course. It was about learning how to be part of a two person shooting team. One of the first things that I noticed watching this video is just how noisy the line is. And that's because shooters and spotters are communicating back and forth to each other up and down the line. If I had the camera focus on my shooting partner and me throughout the whole video, you'll still be able to distinctly hear the calls that others are making about the shooting. This first exercise involves shooting at an E-type target with a bullseye staple to it at 633 yards. Spotters were to make corrections based upon the trace alone. The trace is the path that the bullet makes in the air. It creates a disturbance that you can actually see in a scope. It takes experience and intuition to know how to use what you're seeing though. And the only way to develop those is to get behind a spotting scope and just watch bullets go. Went back down to the exact same spot the other one was. So I would say maybe that one, the other one hit dead center and we're one sure. So bring me back, back, back up point three. You did not yell at me, dude. Relax for a minute. Let me mark this right quick for you. Twist your head, but your bone right here stays on. You got to do this. To the right, high and right. Okay. No, I got it. Uh, okay. Point two uh, left. Uh, give me a Let me three. Three. Hang on. Uh, half mil up. Okay. Uh, keep it at that, at the elevation. Grab that thing. Grab that thing. That's right. Now, we'll, we'll read it. You can lift yeah. it up. Yeah. Set, let me know you're ready. Uh, you can let it down. Okay. okay. But that's going to be in contact with the ground at all times. Okay. It's centered, but way low. Give me same uh, correction, uh, right, same windage. Yeah. And give me... Point left point, point one, six, point six up. Marking his shots. I want his shots marked. Is my elevation okay? Okay, it's uh, still low. Give me another point three up. Whatever you want to do, you can mark it on there for one. Okay, just watch. So that seemed like it went high. Centered but high. When you're looking now, when you're spot, you're still holding that full frame. Yeah, I want to watch trace the whole time. And what's happening is, is if you look, I believe there's a wind flag in your field of view. Yeah, exactly what you said. Well, okay. Just come back down, down point one. Okay. But the rest of them have been good okay. windage. But you're also but it's, is the wind dying down? Try that. That's what it seems like. Yeah, it's dying down. So, so it will help with trace. Okay, yeah, I see. So, Mac, point one right. right, but I'm too far to the right. Yeah, you're just, you're just a hair off the right there. Hold on, yeah. Point one down, point one right. Water's up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Learning point? So zoom all the way out. Get your wind call. You hold for his elevation. Give him his L. He's holding for wind. He's going to give you confirmation that he's holding L. Then you're going to go, you're going to zoom out. Give him a wind call, zoom in. Give me another shot with exactly And then watch the barrage in his target to make sure your wind call stays correct. Go left, point one again. Okay, so what's picking up again? I can feel it. Elevation, 5.2. Let me get a better reading on that. Elevation, left. For some reason, this was the field of view. Give me back, point one left. Where we're shooting. I know, so. I can't get the flag in that. Send it when you want. So, right down here. You're on that. Yeah. nearly got it. The shooting was the easy part for me. Now it's my turn behind the spotting scope. Something I've only actually done once before like this. Okay, that's good. Your body position is much better. Send it. Except for I don't want you to cup the gun. I want you to make a fist. Up and down. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, the bag would be better, but trace? that'll work. I did. I saw the trace. I okay. saw it hit the target. Point one left. Is that Same a minute of angle scope or is it a mil scope? It's the MLA scope. Okay, Point you need to be Spotter's holding. ready. One second. Probably eight. <laughs> Wait a minute. Shoot I can up. see why we're doing this. Yeah. Send it. I can Point see the trace. Yeah, All right, when you get your elevation, let me know. Right now, there's no wind. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That was yeah. good. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> Let it ride. I saw, no, I saw it and in the hole. I see the hole. Um, so, okay, okay, okay. Point Were you holding one the same left. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Point one down. <laughs> Send it. Same? Yeah, send another one so I can watch. Beautiful. Where'd that go? Beautiful. I saw it. Low right. Keep you got it. Yes. One second. That's got correct. It. Okay. This is not about making hits, guys. This is about reading. Trace. Yeah, this is all about trace. The shooter is simply letting you read. Okay. All right, so same elevation, just left a half. Yeah, I think what happened is by the time you shot, the wind died down. Huh? Yeah. As, uh, it was dropped okay, too you're in right. The yeah. I want a left, left shot. Two minutes. It did seem like it was dead all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah. I think so. That wind is back up I'm right now. To figure it out, but I think that one actually was low left. Good. So try that again okay. with this want, wind. All right. Okay. You got it. Left. Two minutes from the original call. Let me let me hold for wind. Shoot her up. Okay. Send it. Give me a center. That was the same hole. We went up to our targets to compare our plots that we made as the spotters with the actual targets. My target is on the left and my partner's is on the right. As you probably can see, it's pretty easy to hit an E-type with the rifles we were using at 633 yards. The trick for a shooter and a spotter is to work together to get it into that bullseye of the target. And this takes practice just like any other skill. The next exercise was about using splash to make your corrections. Splash is what it sounds like. It's that puff of dirt or grass or whatever's behind your target showing you where the bullet impacted. In this case, we're shooting four inch clay pigeons, again at 633 yards on a really loamy berm. All right, so Anthony, you're going for the leftmost um, Okay. So what Roll. I want you to do, right, ready. Got, send it. Pick a spot. There's, there's two like this. Right, right, right. Six right, o'clock. Right perfect here. windage. Right, where I have my reticle. Give me point two up. Yeah, I know. Point two up. Thumbs up. And just go left, just a minute. I mean, just a little. All right. Can you give me your wind call? Yeah, you are right on on wind. No, 3.44 minutes are in one mil. So every right. point three oh, is roughly 1.11 mil. So I need to go ahead. I need to go, go to the one half. below. Okay. Alright, you got it. Three over there. Nope. That's it. Okay. I hit the fucker right above. 5.3. Come down point. Come down point two. I think you hit the no windage. Top of it. Which? Okay. Alright, so nearly. Give me point one, one up, no windage. Let's stick with twenty one. Uh, look point two. You gotta go oh, left asshole. another probably about another minute. So let's you go two minutes quick. left. Okay. I think the wind's okay. barking up. Okay. Let me okay. double check the windage. I yeah. Can't. I didn't compensate for the windage, Max. Send it. Alright, no we're good. Explain which ones you're going Stand by. I was gonna go to twenty one. Let me know when you're ready. Got it. That's part of this drill. Awesome. Part of this drill. I did not think I'd be shooting four inch clays at 633 yards before I took this class. But with good spotter communication, I was able to do it pretty handily. There's a lot more to this class that I want to show you, including the instruction that got us to this point. That'll be in a separate, longer video that's going to take me a little bit of time to put together. So be sure to subscribe so you can catch that video and the other videos I do on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.